In this video, I'm going to show you 10 reasons why you should travel alone, and how it will make you a better person and your life more fulfilling. Hello everyone. I have a confession to make. I love traveling solo. It's just so much more liberating than being with a group of people and not having to worry about anyone else but yourself. Doing whatever the hell you want when you want to. In this video, I am going to share my tips for those of you who are considering taking on the challenge of solo travel. If you like video content such as this one, please subscribe to our channel. Number 1. The experience will teach you how to feel independent. When we're used to relying on others for everything, going out into the world by ourselves is an incredibly liberating feeling. It's not easy, but it will force you to get used to managing things on your own and learning how to do so in a timely manner. Number 2. You'll be able to figure out what kind of traveler you are. When you're traveling with someone else, it can be difficult to tell if they are a perfect travel companion or not. After all, anything might seem like heaven if done with the right person. But on your own, there is no one else influencing your decisions and you make whatever choice you want. Suddenly, you're forced to start thinking about what kind of traveler you are. What are some things that are important to you? What kind of places do you love the most? If you go out into the world on your own, you'll figure these things out quickly. Number 3. You'll be able to see more attractions. I've done this before without realizing it myself. When traveling alone, there isn't anyone else around asking for your input so you get to decide where you'll go and what you will see. When I went to Egypt, I saw all three of the pyramids via public transport instead of taking a guided tour. It was my own choice, but it also meant that I missed out on some things. Number 4. You can go at your own pace. If you're traveling with someone else who is staying in one place while you are constantly on the move, then there's only so much time that you'll have together for sightseeing. But when you're on your own, you get to decide how fast or slow you want to experience the country. You might prefer to spend more time in one place if it's somewhere that really speaks to you or maybe none of the places on your map interest you much. There are no rules when you're traveling alone, so it's entirely up to you how fast or slow you want to go. Number 5. You'll be forced to speak to people. When you're on your own, this is much more necessary than when you have someone else around who can do it for you. Let's be honest, English speakers abroad are the minority so if you don't speak any other language, then getting by in another country will be that much harder. Does anyone watching speak a second language? Leave a comment below on what languages you speak. Two years of high school Spanish were not enough for me to get around in Madrid. The good news about this is that locals absolutely love it when tourists practice their language skills with them. You might not always get what they're saying if their English isn't very good, but just having a chat and trying out your words can really brighten up someone's day. Number 6. You can only blame yourself. If you're traveling with other people, then there are usually some things that happen that nobody likes. Maybe you waited for hours at a train station and missed an important connection. Or maybe your friend was running late and didn't tell you until it was too late to do anything about it. When traveling alone, you have nobody else to consider. So, if something goes wrong, it's all on you. So all of the pressure is off. There is nothing more freeing than knowing that whatever happens next, it will be entirely your own fault. Number 7. You'll meet new friends. Everyone knows a scene from a movie where two strangers meet by chance in a foreign city and instantly become best friends or lovers. It might sound like a fantasy, but if you want it enough and put yourself out there, this does happen. When you travel by yourself, you don't really have anything else to focus on. You're forced to notice everything around you, and the world becomes small again. Just always pay attention and be open to meeting new people, because that is when amazing things can start to happen to you. Number 8. Going to a party will be fun again. Let's not kid ourselves. Parties aren't really parties when there are other people around who know exactly what music you like and your favorite drink. When traveling alone, this changes entirely because everything is new. You'll find yourself trying random things just because it seems like the right thing to do. It's so freeing and satisfying that there is nothing else quite like it in the world. Number 9. You won't miss out on anything. 
If you're traveling with friends or family, then inevitably there might come a time when they want to go somewhere, but you don't. Maybe your brother wants to explore a specific museum, while all you want to do is relax and get a massage. But when you're on your own, this all changes. You can go anywhere that you want and there's no arguing or deliberating required. You'll meet new people, discover hidden treasures and memories will be made that would never have happened otherwise. Number 10. It makes the whole journey feel like an adventure. Traveling with other people can sometimes make it harder for you to enjoy yourself. The great thing about traveling alone is that it feels like a real adventure again, and not just something different from normal life in your hometown. Being somewhere completely unfamiliar means that everything is unknown, and the only way that you'll find out what happens next is if you see it with your own two eyes. Traveling alone is one of the best ways to grow as a person. It forces you to be independent, meet new people and see more things that are available in your destination city or country. You may not realize it now, but traveling solo can help you become a better version of yourself which will make your life even better when you return home. After all, who doesn't love coming back from an adventure feeling like they have grown? When you return home, your social media connections will now be worldwide because you took the time to meet someone face to face. If this sounds interesting to you, then please leave us some feedback in the comments section on what type of trip interests you the most. We would love to hear about how our video helped or inspired you to take the leap. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more videos of this nature. Happy travels!